Okay, go, go, go. All right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you guys doing? All right, you got Sivvy here, as usual, hanging with a couple of my close, close friends, fellow students, fellow teammates of mine in the digital entrepreneur space. And now, guys, I talk a lot about this in my private settings with you. I talk about this in our groups. You can see it in my content online. You can see it in YouTube everywhere. I'm always talking about the value of the people who are around you in your network, right? The people that surround you. Now, not only can you learn from them, but if you're surrounding your your, yourself with like-minded people that are on the same vibrational path, right? That are accepting the same vibes from the energy from the universe and they're putting it out there, you can use each other's strengths, right? To boost your own strengths. That's exactly what we're doing here today. And that's what we do in our communities. People always ask and wonder, why is it that certain individuals, certain teams, certain strategies, you could call them, why do these certain people seem to be making money, having success everywhere they go? It doesn't matter what they jump, jump into, whatever business it is, online, offline, if they have a fitness goal, if they have a health goal, if they have some sort of thing they want to do in their life, why is it you keep seeing the same people pop up having success doing that, right? That's my question to you. And the answer is it comes down to a few things, right? In my opinion, one is mindset, right? You have to have a positive mindset. You cannot go to, through life negative looking back on past mistakes, crying about them. I'm guilty of this. I'm sure you are too. It's human nature, right? But if you can have the, the, the power to look inside and look forward and learn from your mistakes, that is a positive mindset. That's the number one ingredient in my opinion, right? And everybody on this panel has that in spades, right? That's why I pulled them here today because this is the most positive group you're going to see in a long time. Okay, another thing you need, of course, if we're talking digital marketing are, of course, proper strategies that work, right? There's a plethora of things you'll find on the internet. There's countless gurus and people that will help you. It's all good. It's all fine. But the bottom line is this. Everybody on this panel is making money, okay? Simple, straight up. Easy as that. Another thing you need is to expand your network, right? One of our panel here today, her name's Jennifer. She always talks about networking, networking, networking. And when you hear her story, where she's at now and where she came from before, you're going to realize it came from networking, right? And guess what? That's what I'm doing right now here today for your benefit, right? So enjoy this. I'm going to jump right into this. I want to hear these guys' stories. It's amazing. They all come from different parts of the world, right? We have a couple people in the States, pom-poms over in Australia. I'm here in the Philippines. It's the power of the internet. We're all linking up. We're talking. We're, we're sharing energy. It's amazing. And let's just jump right into it. I want to hear exactly where you guys came from, kind of what, what was the thing that sort of sparked the change in you or the thing that gave you the momentum, as they say, to sort of bust through whatever blockage you had, if you had a blockage, right, and put you on the path that you're on now because you guys are all very inspiring. I can see you're living in the abundant mindset. You're smiling. You're full of energy. Every time I see you online, you're just a pleasure to, to work with and look at. And it's, it's inspiring me. That's why I asked you to be on here, right? So share some of that energy with us and our crew. Uh, I'd appreciate it. So first we'll go down to Jennifer. Jennifer is in the States. She's in Miami. She's a ball of energy. I've recently joined her on her team in the KBB method with Tony Robbins, Dean, and uh, Russell Brunson's new project there. And we're learning a ton inside there. It's amazing. That is a networking mecca. And it's unbelievable. I'm so grateful to be in that with you, Jennifer. That's awesome. So let's go over to Jennifer and see how you're doing. How are you doing, Jennifer? Nice to have you here. Yeah, awesome. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to be talking to you guys and seeing some amazing people on this call. So Thank you, CV, for putting this together. And yes, I am from Florida. I am originally from New York City. So I grew up in the city and then moved down here to the country life. I love it here, though. Um, I've been here for six years. I am a mom. I am a wife. I, uh, I work online full time. And it's funny that you mentioned this because I feel like these past six years, I've been working online full time. I've kind of been networking my way through life. <laughs> it's so funny. I, we, I, we have been net, networking our way through life and through the online space. So not technically like in person, but every single person that we've connected with online connected us to something else. And they connected us to something else. And they connected us to something else. And that's why it is so important um, to network with other people because you just never know what's going to come out of building relationships with other 
people. And at the end of the day, what I always tell people when, when you're networking, when you're talking to people, it doesn't matter what business you're in, doesn't matter what you do, as long as your heart is in the right place. And I think Stevie and I spoke um, about this in another video, as long as you, your heart is in the right place and you have good intentions, right? The right people that you're supposed to connect with are going to come around your space, around your circle, because you attract your tribe. That's kind of how it works. And even in the online space, we're all behind computers, but this is an energy portal. Like one of our mentors, he always tells us like the phones, the computers, it's all energy portals. So if your heart's in the right place and you, you know, you are, are that heart centered serving leader, you are going to attract the right people that's supposed to come in and connect with you. So as far as like my journey goes, oh my gosh. So first of all, how I got into the online space was a friend of mine through church that told me about it. So that was one networking connection. Um, I had just lost my job. Um, I did the whole nine to five thing, went to school. And my friend told me about, you know, you can make money online. And I was going crazy trying to find a job. I had just moved to a brand new state. I was a single mom of three kids at the time um, before I met my partner in crime now. And, and when the girl told me about making money online, like I, that was not my world. You know, I didn't know anything about it. I was like, what are you talking about making money online? And she's like, just you know, watch this webinar, watch this video. So I, that's the first, um, I guess, taste that I got to the online space. And then I, I it just opened up my eyes to, to opportunity. And I was like, wow, you know, so many people are out here online versus like the amount of people that I can meet, you know, walking down the street compared to the people that I can meet online. It's like exponential, it's like unlimited amount of people on social media, right? Um, and, and, and I saw that as an opportunity. I was like, wow, I need to learn this stuff. I would like dive right in. So that was like my first taste of it six years ago. And it was through a network marketing opportunity. It was actually a health and wellness company. Um, and that, that company led me to learn about personal development and that's the first time I heard about Tony Robbins that was six years ago Tony Robbins you know all of the big gurus right Les Brown that was when I first heard about personal development and that changed my life like when I discovered personal development I was like where have I been I've been living like in a shoebox like I'm like 30 something years old right at the time I don't want to say my age but anyway I'm 30 something years old. Where have I been? You know? And I look at Sam, right? He's like super young. I'm like, yeah, that's amazing. I wish I was like your age that I knew all the stuff that I know now. So you are on the right path. Um, Sam just saying, um, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Off track there, but yeah. So one networking opportunity led me to open up this world of the, you know, personal development, the online space. Then I saw myself in a really bad situation trying to figure out the online space by myself, right? So my husband was actually the one that saw a webinar where um, one of our mentors was speaking about online marketing and how to generate leads. And at the moment, I was trying to all figure it all out. Um, we were literally like, you know, falling behind on bills at the time. And we saw this opportunity to invest into mentorship and, and training with someone that has been in the industry for a long time. That's kind of how we all connected on this call, even though this is not about that. But it was through a friend of his that gave him the, the webinar. So again, another networking opportunity, right? And it was actually one of his best, best friends. So it was someone really close to him. They were like, man, you need help. Like try, you know, watch this webinar. This might change your life. And literally we didn't have the money to invest at the time for, for any type of mentorship. Like we were falling behind on bills and, and just really stressed out. Financial status was like our thermostat was like below a thousand. Okay. It, it was bad. And then having kids, you know, the stress of having kids trying to, you know, make sure that they got what they need, make sure that we pay the light, right. We pay the, the bills to so try to keep, um, you know, our family up flow. It was definitely a hard time for us at the moment. So again, another networking opportunity led us into a uh, millionaire mentorship, our mentorship, uh, through the mentoring. It's so funny because you're like, Oh my God, what are you doing now? Through mentorship. Um, I met, other people that have other courses and taught me other different things. I started learning about messenger marketing. I built my own agency. I have a, a social media agency where we do my, um, social media management, marketing, and we build chatbots for businesses. And all that came from like meeting other people that had an expertise or a skill that I paid for to learn, right? Because you got to pay to play and that's how it works. Okay. And, and 
I paid for their expertise. I learned these skills through networking and now I build my agency. Now through the agency, again, networking, networking my way in the online space, talking to the people in the ClickFunnels community, there was an opportunity where, you know, I got brought up as far as if I wanted to be part of their social media marketing team. And I was like, heck yeah, like, that's like the bomb. Like, where do I sign? How do I, like, you know, if, if you just think about how it all came about, right? It was six years of like networking, investing, networking, investing. And that's where, you know, all those steps is what led to where we are today. And guys, I have met the most amazing people online, like through networking, like some of my best friends I've never met in person and they're on Facebook and they live all over the world. So it's just amazing. The opportunities when you just put yourself out there, where you're just not scared to talk to people because because we're all human. We all make mistakes. We're all, you know, nobody's perfect. Like, why not talk to people, network with people, say hello, find out how, how's your day. Like, just say hi to people. You just never know what someone's going to respond on the other end of that conversation. So one door led to another, and that's where we are now. Like, I mean, so many more doors are opening. Like, we were part of the affiliate program with the KDB, and that was uh, another uh, invite like we were invited to be affiliates of that program and it was an honor to be part of a group of the best marketers in the world i mean we were in a group with billy jean russell brunson like the top marketers of the world like promoting this lunch and that was through networking and i got invited right to be part of that lunch now we're flying to vegas in august for the kbb party and in that party is going to be um, the top um, people that hit the leaderboards for the for the affiliate, and I was one of them that was like like going to be at that party. So I'm like, yeah, I'm in there. Why? Because of the people, not even because I want to party. Like, who cares? I could party here. I could party in Orlando. I could party in Miami. I could party wherever. But it's the people that are going to be in that room. Heck yeah, I'm by the flight and flying my ass to Las Vegas. So we're going to Vegas in August for that. Um, KBB um, affiliate partner party, but it's for the people. That's why I'm so excited to be there because I want to learn. I want to grow. You want to be around people where you're like the little person in the room, okay? Because that's how I feel every time I'm networking in big spaces with big leaders and top names. Like, I want to be the smallest person in the room so I can learn, so I can grow, so I can like climb up the financial ladder and that's technically how it is i jose said that by by the end of 2019 you know how they say you become the five people that you hang around with right the five five million years okay five million years why because you become the people that you hang around with so that is my intake of today it was not scripted you can see <laughs> but i try to share um, you know, my passion from the heart and to let you guys know that networking is so important. If you're not networking, you know, it doesn't matter what business you're in. You need to be out there networking with people. Use the tools, use social media to grow, to, to get out there and meet people because the world just became a smaller place with social media and the, and the internet. So take advantage of it. Yeah. Yes. Jennifer, I love your energy so much. And then I'm going to awesome. drop the mic. <laughs> yeah, do it. Drop that mic. You deserve it. That's awesome. Awesome, Jennifer. Okay, first things first, I have to give you a massive congratulations because you are networking the shit out of life, right? It is obvious and it's awesome and it is all about your network. And I mean, you're proving this. You're going to the Vegas and you're going to be hanging out with the top affiliates for KBB. That, guys, now th this is a bit of a side thing. She got me all pumped on KBB now. The reason I joined KBB which so that I could, of course, learn from Tony Robbins and learn from Russell and learn from Dean, yes. But it was also more so, actually more so, to network, right? To get into the private Facebook group, to get into the private chats, to learn from the people that are in there. So the people she's talking about, the top affiliates of the program, I can also go see who they are. I'm not invited to the party yet, yet, but I will be. But I can go see who they are, and now I can go stalk their chat bots. I can go stalk their funnels. I can go look at their content. I can see who these people are who are the best in the world at what they do, and I can learn from it. So that's exactly the reason I did it too. So again, thank you, Jennifer, for that opportunity. That was awesome. Um, congratulations on your, your, your marketing agency as well. That's amazing. Okay, two things I just wanted to talk about with your story that resonate with me, okay? Number one, 
I also didn't know about personal development until recently. Okay. I've been a spiritual kind of person my whole life in the sense where I've always known that, you know, I, I can, I can attract things and I can think, but I didn't know like the fundamentals and I didn't know the quantum physics side. And I didn't know people like Tony Robbins at all. Nothing. Okay. The moment that happened for me was about five years ago, four or five years ago. And again, I'm 38 years old now, right? Sam, you lucky young guy. So I learned about this when I was like 33 or 34, right? And <clears throat> the reason I learned about it was because I got dengue fever, right? I'm here in the Philippines. There's lots of mosquitoes with dengue. Uh, my wife and I are doing yoga outside. I got bit by a mosquito, gave me dengue. I was in the hospital for 10 days, really bad. I had to almost get a blood transfusion. I was very, very sick. I couldn't walk for over a week. And I was in the Manila hospital alone. My wife was in Europe. And I was just there like shriveling up and feeling sorry for myself. And um, I, I had my computer, but I didn't feel like doing anything. I, I wasn't working online. I just had my computer. and I was like, eh. I went to YouTube and somehow I, had, I have no idea how it happened. I went to Netflix and I saw the Tony Robbins, I'm not your guru documentary. That's, that's the thing. I was like, who is this Tony Robbins guy? I watched that documentary. I was like crying watching. I was like, what the hell is this? This is unbelievable. Instantly that day, I went and I got as, as much as Tony Robbins stuff as I could. I got the audio book. I bought, I caught, I told, I told the person in Manila to buy me two books and bring him to the hospital. And I just got into it. And since then, that's the day that it flipped for me completely. So I hear what you're saying. That's awesome. And the other thing, a lot of people on the internet. Now I can resonate with that massively because I live on a tiny island in the middle of the ocean. Okay. In the Philippines, tiny island. It's seven kilometers long. That, that's how big this whole place is, okay? <laughs> it's very small. I can walk the whole beach to the end and walk back in the morning. There's not that many people here to network with, okay? Like, I've been here seven years. We work in hotels. I know every single person on the island. It's amazing. Great people, amazing friends. But, you know, I'm, I'm, there's nothing else here for me in the networking space. The second that I came online and saw what this is all about and saw the ability to just touch people because it's so easy now with Messenger and everything, I was like, Oh my God, if I'm not taking advantage of this technology to get my message out and to hear other people's messages, I'm totally missing the boat. That's what I thought. And this was happening in the same moment that I was learning about personal development. So that got me on the path and that's how I started. So thank you for your, uh, thank you for your amazing story, Jennifer. Very inspiring. And it made me think about my story. So that's cool too. I appreciate it. And I believe you had a very busy day with your kids and everything. So if you want to leave now and go to bed, Feel free to. Now I'm excited. Now I'm like, oh, hype. I just want to like hear everybody talking. All right. All right. It's up to you. It's up to you. That's what happens, right? When you get on Zoom and you get all pumped, you get fired up. You can't fall asleep. I know. It happens to me too. All right. Cool. So we'll move over to my man, Samuel Mojico Jr. over here. Now, for you guys that aren't aware of Sam, Sam's one of these guys that, you know, when you see big number stories, you're like, damn, how'd that guy do it? I say kid because, you know, I'm getting older now and I look at Sam like a kid, but I know you're not a kid, but I'm like, how the hell did that kid do it? This is the fact, okay, guys? This guy decided one day to just say, that's it. I am not settling for this shit anymore. The life he had, the, the, the family situation that was going on, the way they were living, everything, he just said no more and he made a decision one day. And that is so powerful because anybody can make that decision, right? You can make that decision, Yennefer, Pawn, Sam, myself, Anybody can make that decision like that. It's all here, right? And he is a perfect testament to it because he did it. And I'll let you tell, I'll let him tell you exactly how he did it. It is going to blow your mind. All right, Sam, where are you, buddy? Hey, man, welcome to the call. Yo, 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 thanks for yeah. the intro. All thanks right, for buddy. the intro, man. I'm excited to be here. Cool, thanks for coming out, bro. Hey, before we get started, tell us a little bit about your, uh, well, no, no, never mind, go ahead. Tell us a little bit about your journey, my man. Let's get into it. <laughs> At the end of it, I want, at, yeah, the, right. at the end of it, at the end of it, I want to hear about why I keep selling, why I keep seeing naked selfies of you every day in my feed. <laughs> I got yeah. you, man. All right. All right. <laughs> cool, cool. We'll build up to it. We'll build up to it. Yeah. Right. So uh, the way it started for me, guys, um, my my roots go all the way back to the bread factory. And it's, it's funny when I look back at it now, I'm very grateful that I had such a hard job in the beginning because it translated to success because of the qualities I learned there. Now at the bread factory, um, like most factories, I was working eight to 12 hours every single day. You know, I was, it was literally just wake up, go to work, drink a coffee, stay there till, you know, seven or eight o'clock at night, get home, take a shower, 
eat and go to sleep, right? And that was my life. And I did that for about a year. Now, after about the seventh month, I finally had enough, bro. I was like, man, my feet hurt every single day. I have so much potential. You know, at the time I was only 21 and I was able to manage a whole factory with one coworker. And I'm like, I have all this untapped potential, but I don't know how to bring it out. I don't have the skill sets yet, right? All I know how to do with my life is flip bread, right? That's all I knew how to do at the time. So because of that, I started searching up on the internet you know, how to make an income online, how to make money online. And it's funny, um, when you said that story, Sivy, when you're at the hospital and in Netflix, you have the Tony Robbins film just magically appear in front of you. Imagine out of the thousands of videos, I had the video of our mentor appear at the top of my feed. Can you imagine? I, I would have joined any other program that would have came first, but his videos will popped up. I watched the video. Um, and he was talking about, you know, about how just the formula, the seven figure formula on how to make an income online. And it made sense to me. It actually made sense to me. I'm like, man, I can do this. So what I did is I reached out to him. Now, what I didn't know is about that things cost money. And you know, Yennefer said it earlier that it's pay to play, right? I didn't know that at the time. I was very young and naive and I'm still kind of young and naive, right? So I went, I went up to him and I messaged him on Messenger and I asked him this, hey, Darren, Bread Factory, I hate my lifestyle. You know, I have zero time to spend with my little sister. I barely see my mom. You know, I need something to work for me. I need something different. And, you know, he basically just told me this, Sam, I'm going to tell you what my mentor told me, right? If you want to make it in this industry, you're going to need a mentor and it's going to cost you more money than what you probably have. And I'm like, how much money is it going to cost me? Right? He said, it's going to cost $1,350. Now let's pause. I had less than $200 in the bank account at the time. When he said $1,350, it blew me away. Right? Because I didn't have the money. But I had two choices. I could be a victim about it or I could be a winner. I could say, you know what? Wait a minute. I don't have the money now but I'll get the money. And thankfully I was reading books. I was already doing personal development while at the factory during my lunch breaks. And I still, I'm very grateful. I had the mindset back then. Cause I told him, look, I don't have the money now, but I'm going to raise the money. And as, as we all know here, right? He's very straight to the point. He's like, okay, chat soon. Right. And then boom, I stopped talking with him. You know, it took me, it took me four months after those seven months to raise the money um, to join mentorship. I paid, now after four months, I went up to my boss and said, look, I have so much potential. I, I'm going to do something different. He high-fived me. We're good friends. Um, I quit my job that week. And then I joined the online business full-time, you know, back against the wall, no job. I went all in with the whole mentorship. Now, funny enough, because I already had, remember how I said in the beginning that I'm grateful for the factory because it gave me the qualities needed for success. When I went into the, into the whole mentorship, I went in already having the work ethic. I already had 10 to 14 hours a day in me, right? That was just already in me. I had the grit. I had the perseverance. I had the endurance. So when he told me, you need to watch these training videos eight times minimum, for me, it was like, it was a piece of cake, right? I was like, I'm ready for this because I'm going to invest 10 hours minimum in watching those videos. So fast forward, I watched those videos in four days. Day number five, I just trusted my mentor. I surrendered. I applied what he told me. I made $1,000 in day number five. Day number six, I made $1,000. Day number seven, eight, nine, and 10, I made $1,000 every single day. By 10 days in, I was up $10,000. And at that point, I was, I was like typing away. My mentor like, holy crap, I made 10 grand. And he literally told me, Sam, bro, you still have 20 days to go. You're thinking too small. Move the number up to 20. And at that time, imagine, I'm like, fuck it, you know, 20, okay, let's go. Let's go for 20, right? We did 10, let's go for 20. And within the first 18 days, I was up 18 grand. And by day number 30, I was up $23,000, my very first month online. And funny, when I look back on it now, um, it, it was kind of like, like, I don't, it's, it's almost like destiny, right? Because I had the work ethic, I had the perseverance, I had the qualities of success, and I realized within every person here, porn tips, civvy, Yennefer, we all have these qualities. We're all tough as nails, right? We can all endure. We all have perseverance, right? Every 
successful person has these things. We all have grit, right? We're winners, you know, we're winners. And so I went into the mentorship as a winner and I came out as one of the biggest success stories, monthly success stories um, in the program. And I ended my first year close to $100,000, which I always dreamed of. I always dreamed of it. When I saw Yennefer's story and I saw Porn Thip's story, I always dreamed, man, I want to be at that 100 grand mark. And thankfully, you know, thanks to my mentors and thanks to all of you guys, right? Because I mean, I remember I consulted Porn Thip and Yennefer a lot, a lot of times for advice. Right? And they helped me on. I got close to that hundred grand my first year. So now in this now in this year, funny enough, because I've gotten all the skill sets of you know running an online business, marketing funnels, doing sales, I actually have friends of mine who are multimillionaires, they're influencers in their niche, right? Whether it's Instagram, LinkedIn, um, CBD, et cetera, et cetera. Now I'm a high ticket closer for, for them. Now this 28th, actually, I have a big webinar where he, he just messaged me today. There's over 5,000 people registered for that webinar. He's, he's you know, expecting 10,000 to, to register, 3,000 to show up, and I'm going to have over 500 phone calls starting the 28th that I can make with qualified people selling a product at a $2,000 price point of 15% commission. Knowing myself, I'm going to make over $10,000 in that one week period. I know I will. I know I will. I have the skill sets, right? And that, that is what online business did for me. It taught me the skill sets. And now I, I can go up to these guys and say, you know, I can close sales for you. I can build marketing funnels. Right now I'm valuable. I have value and I have results, right? So that's where I'm at right now. Sivy, man, I'm feeling amazing, man. And he said about the nude pictures, the, the, the shirtless pictures. Um, I'm taking a 75 day challenge right now. Um, that, you know, multiple nine figure earner, Andy Frisella, you know, he created a challenge called 75 hard and, you know, he was, he's, he's a, extremely convinced and so am I that if you have the qualities of success, if you have the grittiness, the self-worth, the self-confidence, you have the grit inside of you, you could be successful in anything you do, anything right? I can start any business right now and I'm going to kill it. I'm going to crush it because even if nothing is happening around me, I'm not going to quit. I can trust myself not to quit, right? Because I have the confidence to keep going. And that's what the, that's the, what the challenge has been doing for me, man, right? Like I'm on day number eight. I'm posting up my pictures every single day to keep myself accountable and I'm feeling more confident than ever before, right? I think I'm about to have a girlfriend by the end of this month, by the way, this is going, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's been good man oh man you're awesome dude you're you're a funny guy i love it dude your, your energy's awesome too a girlfriend huh all right we can talk about that offline i guess <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome yeah man i i a couple things number one congrats on your success bro i mean i've been watching you grow before i got into this you know when i came into this game i've been i was watching you guys before you knew me right and you three were three of the ones I was watching. And Sam, I've been watching you. I watched your walkabouts. You know what awesome. I mean? So it's awesome. It's awesome to see you guys doing what you're doing. And it's inspiring me as a new person online. I'm in my first year right now. And I'm learning as much as I can, as quickly as I can. I've had my ups, my downs. I've met so many cool people. And this is just more proof that it's just amazing. Uh, you guys are on the path. And I, I love, love it. it. So Sam, a couple of things I pulled from yours. Um, when you said you didn't have the money but you were going to choose to be the victim or a winner. That is a great, mm -hmm. that is a great ass quote. That's a great quote, Sam. I love that. That hit me proper hard because everybody on this call and probably the person watching this right now, you watching this right now at home, there's a high probability you're thinking to yourself, well, I don't have the money either. Right? Because let's get real. If we were all millionaires already, there's a pretty good chance we wouldn't be online searching for more or searching for something new. We'd be off doing whatever it is we do that brings us millions and millions of dollars, right? We're looking for fulfillment. We're looking for, you know, happy life, happy everything. And of course, we're looking for income to support our dream lifestyle, right? That's why we're here. So everybody that you see that has success online, don't think that they started with millions of dollars in a trust fund and stuff. They didn't. They're just like everyone here on this call, like me. We didn't start with anything. If anything, it's debt that we started with, right? It's debt. We'll get to that in a minute, okay? But I'm also in the debt category, right? When I started the online space, my bank account was red, and it was in six figures red, okay? Six figures red, and that's all business debt that I am responsible for. It's not personal debt, thank God, but it's still something I'm responsible for. So coming online 
you have to have that mentality, right? You have to just get out of the victimhood state, tell yourself you're a winner, tell yourself you can do it and surround yourself with people that can help you get there. That's the, that's the key, right? And to endure. I love it. All right, yeah. buddy. Hey, Sam, let me just ask you real quick before we bounce, man. Um, if you had one piece of advice for someone who's coming online, maybe they've been online for a while already, or maybe they're brand new. I don't know. But if someone's watching this and they're like, oh my God, I'm so, I have so, cause this is what happens to me. And there's so many things coming at you, right? Different gurus, different programs, different teachers, different things. This webinar or this, this interview, like there's so many things people are getting inundated with. If you had one piece of advice for someone who's feeling overwhelmed, what would you tell them? Um, that's a really good question, man. I get asked that a lot and it's, my answer is always different, right? So just to kind of like not even think too much on it, the best piece of advice I can give anyone that's being overwhelmed right now and wants to do something online is to, well, number one, find a mentor. Don't figure it out. If you're overwhelmed, it's because you're trying to figure things out on your own. You know, that's just the truth of it. If you're like, it's the same in all aspects of your life. If you're overwhelmed with fitness, it's because you're probably trying to figure out how to get fit on your own. If you're overwhelmed with money, it's because you're trying to figure out the money game on your own. Don't play that game, right? Get a mentor, get a coach, get somebody, right? LeBron James has a coach. Kobe Bryant has a coach. Tony Robbins has a coach. All the highest producing people, they all have coaches, right? Because they, know, they understand themselves enough to know that we are human. We're human. We get overwhelmed. Doesn't matter where we are. We get overwhelmed. But it's good to have somebody just kind of get all that energy and focus you towards one thing. And that goes with this. You want to choose your mentor wisely. Make sure that they're not just talking. Look at what they do. Look at what they're actually doing. Because if you do take them on as a mentor, all you have to do, you have the easy part. You just have to model them model them i think uh, at the end of the whole mentorship like we all end up talking like our mentor right <laughs> we do these webinars we all end up talking like we just model after him we model him and we get what he has which is millions of dollars right which is ultimate success so that's my best piece of advice bro get a mentor get a teacher get a coach get out of your own way yeah great call man great call i would agree with that 100 percent. cool all right thanks sam i appreciate it buddy uh, congratulations on your um, high ticket closing gig. That's amazing. I actually have another friend of mine who is living in Australia who just had a similar job, job, whatever you want, opportunity pop up on his lap. And he was telling me about it last week. So that's also something I'm quite interested in. That's a cool, that's a cool thing, right? I love that. So maybe we can talk about that offline when we come. Uh, Pretty easy, man. They give you all the leads. Yeah, that, you don't that, gotta do, all you got to do is close. That's it. Yeah. That's, that's, that's interesting stuff. I like, I like the idea of, you know, getting leads and closing and everything, but I also like the idea of the person who's doing the webinar, the person who's building the course or whatever it is you're selling. They have this massive team, obviously people like you who are getting the leads and closing. So looking at the business structure from that side is also very, very interesting to me as well. Both sides. It's just amazing. Again, the internet makes this all possible guys, right? That's the point. Like we're just sitting at our house right now. And we have all these amazing opportunities and amazing people around us all the time from your house. I'm in the jungles in the Philippines here. Like, come on, it's raining outside. There's no one here. <laughs> There's no one here, but I'm online with you guys. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, Sam. I appreciate it, buddy. That's, an, that's amazing. You're killing it as usual. Every time I talk to you, you're on fire. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Porn tip. How are you doing there in Australia? Nice to see your smiling face. Hi. Hi. Nice. Hi. So, Thanks for having me today. Oh, of course, Pon Pon. It's a, it's a pleasure. You're always very bright and cheery when I see you. It's amazing. Very uh, um, addictive smile. Yeah, addictive laugh. That's what you have. So, okay, for you, for you guys that are watching this now, uh, Porn Tip, again, I've been watching her for a while. Um, she's an amazing leader. She does amazing things both online and offline, right? She has the gift of being able to teach people and, you know, getting people to understand her methods and um, teaching kids and teaching things like this. And she has an amazing story about, you know, some trials and tribulations she's gone through and she's rised up. She's living her dream. She's in, uh, what, what, what city are you in again now? The Gold, Gold Coast. Coast, Australia. <laughs> the Gold Coast. It's always been her dream to live in the Gold Coast, right? Now she's in the Gold Coast, sitting outside, doing her thing. It's amazing. So, all right, Pompon, -pom, I'll let you tell us a little bit about your story and um, take it away. Hi, everyone. 
um, thanks for having me on board today. Um, always uh, happy to see, you know, all the fellow uh, entrepreneurs that stepping up and then just keep on, you know, create that momentum for their business and then just keep on growing. And I'm so blessed to be part of the team and be part of this journey and to witness, you know, from over a year ago that we, you know, starting out and look at us now, you know, have a lot, a lot of um, progress so far. And it, it's such, such a blessing in life. I didn't start smoothly online. And um, I want to take you back uh, many years ago. I couldn't speak a word of English when I first started in Australia. I, I moved over here and settled with my family. And um, basically, uh, learning English from scratch and then my traditional uh, getting brought up by education. You go get educated, get a job, settle down, having um, a family, you know, get a house, uh, full-time career, and then you retired. And that's it. That, that's what I, I was taught. And then I just follow that uh, process until one day uh, I got a very successful career in the university and but the, I witnessed so many people lost their job so that there, there aren't any such thing as uh, job securities per se that most people think that it is it's not because you can get told that you lose your job next week and then if you don't have the alternative income or you know extra incomes that flow into your way what you're gonna do you just have to lose everything and restart from scratch again what about your family who gonna feed them if you don't have any income coming in you know what i mean so i then start to think outside the box and thought that okay i need you know alternative income i need a backup income should something happen to me and then um Basically, by then, I got a mortgage, I got bills, I got, you know, all these financial commitments to fulfill. And then if I don't have any job, just like my fellow colleagues that got let go, what are I going to do with all these expenses that are waiting for me to pay? So I just looking up online and then I got attracted into so many deals and attractive, you know, promising uh, stuff. So I became the internet junkie for a while and I purchased many, many businesses, many deals. And uh, I overwhelmed myself with all the possibilities that I believe everybody that I came across online and purchased lots of courses, lots of program and thinking that, okay, they told me to buy paid advertisement. So I did, I just purchased lots of paid ads. And it didn't give me uh, a return as promised. So I start going downhill in my financial. And then I start to have this um, guilt and blaming because I lost a lot of money. And, you know, my partner saving, lifetime saving also down the drain as well. So I then, like, God sent someone reach out to me and say, hey, we got the... A mentoring program are you interested in you know checking this out so that yeah why not you know I got nothing else to lose because my back was against the wall anyway um, okay and then that's the turning point in my online business and the video that I watched from our mentor was a turning point for me because there's a another way that I haven't done before in marketing world in network marketing so i had a go because i got no more to lose right so i had a go and just forget about the failure and the guilt and the the, the depression that i used to have and start fresh have a go try it out and i improved my skills ever since i kid you not not just the mentoring program that we in we always get, get taught, also get taught to reach out and reach up, to network with someone who already have successful story that we can connect with and we can learn from. So the circle that we are in, it's the people who already advanced in their online marketing or offline 
uh, uh, business that I can reach out and reach up and connect with them and learn from them. So a lot of strategies, a lot of corporate um, uh, strategy that I have been learning has improved me from mindset, from actions, from systematic that I have to put in place, from the business that you have to have a proper legal, legal uh, side of thing got to be there. All the foundation got to have paved my way to become an entrepreneur. And now I own my own business. I have the contract work everywhere I go. I had uh, the confidence enough to quit my full-time career of over 20 years in my life, you know, to step up into a, a, a freedom of choice. Whether I want to work for a company that I choose and pick or I want to do it online and work with my team, I have choices now. Because of that one change that I did to have a go. Because if you're just sitting in the, the, the victim, victim, victimhood that, oh, I don't have money, I am afraid of it's going to fail again, I am afraid of scammers, all of this mentality is going to hold you back. And you will never step up and get out from that cycle. And you will never change. But I did break that. So now I have contract after contract and I network with CEO of the company. I network with the owner of the businesses in the international organizations where I can now meet with them, talk to them and do the tutorial online. And we meet on the video call, you know, on Zoom, on Skype, anything like that. I can have the clients all over the place and we don't have to have in one town. So I'm so blessed to, to say that um, because I wanted, always wanted to be here in Gold Coast, Australia. That's my dream place of mine. So I always came here for a holiday. And why don't I just move here and live here? So I decided to pack my bag and off I come. So here I am. Living the dream is the thing that entrepreneurship can give you. You know, all you need is the internet. And you can operate from anywhere. And here I am, beautiful home, massive backyard, <laughs> and uh, near, near the beach. So I can just pick and choose whether I go on top of the hill today or I go down the beach today. It's a freedom of choice that, that entrepreneurship can give us. Thanks, Stevie. Amazing. Thank you, Pon Pon. Very good. I love it. You know, amazing, amazing story that you have coming from where you did, getting through your, you know, we all face that victimhood feeling. We all face that. That's normal. Like human condition to feel like down and it's, it's only me who's struggling. I don't have the money. I don't have the time. That's just natural. That's our subconscious mind trying to stop us from taking risk, right? And growing. It's trying to stop us from growing. And if we can break through that, like you said, you broke through it and you stepped into your power. I wrote that. I wrote it down. And you said that confidence gave you the, or sorry, that gave you the confidence to quit your job and step into the freedom lifestyle, right? Where you can now choose if you want to work online, if you want to make money online, building your teams, if you want to work offline, deciding which companies you work with and do contracts with. It's your choice now. You live the freedom lifestyle because you made that switch, stepped into your power, took control of your life, right? And that's what we're always talking about. So, right. So many people see like the online space, make money online or a mentorship program or whatever, the, whatever you want to call these things. And they think it's all like, you know, they think it's something that it's not. What it really is, is personal development and leadership guys. We're learning, yeah. we're learning how to be leaders by leading from the front and leading with other leaders. And it's all based on mindset and personal development, right? If you can yeah. get that part in your mind and just know that and hold it strong, and of course, hold it strong with your why, like the reason you want that. For Pon Pon, she wanted to have a freedom lifestyle. I want the exact same, right? When you said you wanted to move to the Gold Coast, and now you did because you can have internet anywhere and you can work anywhere, I'm moving to Europe in like two weeks, and I'm not feeling any stress, zero, because I know that I'll have internet there. I'll know that I can use my skill set online, my networking abilities, my power that I'm learning how to cultivate on the internet space, 
and I can use it to create whatever sort of abundance or income that I, I desire, literally, right? You can literally make money on demand when you understand yeah. the formulas, right? So I have yeah. no stress moving to Italy with no job, right? But I know that I'm going to have internet and that's all we need nowadays. That's the beauty of it. Everybody on this call is saying the same thing. We just work anywhere, anytime. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so, it's so nice to hear you say that, Pompon. I love it. I love it. Hearing you guys, hearing you, hearing yous and, and Jennifer's and Sam's stories are just so inspiring. It's amazing. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. oh, it's unbelievable. Pon, would you, do you have any words of advice for anybody watching who's um, sitting at home, maybe on the fence about a decision, or maybe they're feeling down or they, they feel like they, they, they can't do it, but everybody else can, you know, any words of yeah. advice? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I've been there. I've been there from, you know, being so broken mentality broken and financially as well to step up all you need to do is have faith have faith that you can do this you just need to know how but once you have faith and have the dream have the dream having the vision of what you actually really really want to happen to you what your better life looks like what a better version of you looks like. Describe everything on paper. Jot down all the details to the perfume you are wearing, to the clothes, color of clothes, the hairdo, the hairstyle, the makeup that you want. Put that into your vision. And that's the new you. And claim that. Claim that that is you. This, this is how I did it. I, I actually manifest who I want to be. And I claim that I already am that person that I want to be today. As soon as you can change that mindset, you can do anything, anything that you dream about because it's in the vision. So for us, got told to do the vision board. I had the old vision board. I blew it because I had to update my vision board. So, <laughs> so now I do it in my head, in my head what I actually want my dream to look like. And I'm living the dream right now. Without that capacity of dream, I wouldn't be here in Gold Coast, Australia today. Now I create my own reality. So you have to think about, start with the dream. And then you need to uh, surround yourself with the circle of the people who can help you to take you there to where you want to be. And then you have to choose the vehicle, either business type. What kind of business can get you there? Okay, can generate income and never depend on one income. You have to have multiple sources of income to form a monthly income for you. What do you need minimum? And what you need to make it comfortable? Okay, so you need to know your budget to make your life a lot more comfortable. So three things, you got to have the dream. The dream comes from why you have the dream. So the big why, okay? You have to have the big why of your dream to make it happen. If you, have, if you achieve that dream, your why will be fulfilled, okay? For me, I want to be able to travel to Thailand and care for my mom. So that is in my dream. Okay, the why the dream have to be combined and big enough that scares you. But you have to accept that you can do this. Surround yourself with the circle of people that can help you to get there. And then choose the vehicle, either type of businesses that you need to create multiple source of income for you and you will succeed. Yeah, great advice, Pon Pon. Great advice. I completely agree with you. It, for me, it really comes down to the why, the vision, and yes, owning it, right? Actually stepping into that and owning it. Claim it. Claim it. Claim it is a great, that's a great phrase. Claim it. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Amazing, Pompon. Pom. Thank you very much for that. For you guys watching this on the replay, listen, you just heard from three uber successful online and offline entrepreneurs who literally started from either broke or below broke, okay? And either we're in a very depressed down mindset like I was when I came online, I was very depressed. I was very sad. I was crying in my bedroom. 
with no money and feeling very, very down on my, my life. I was playing the victim is what I was doing. And I got surrounded with people like this, surrounded myself with my mentors. We all share the same mentors and it picks you up and it, it raises your vibration. And when you do that, then you can actually look forward and you can say, yes, I can be that person that I want to be. I'm going to claim it, right, Pon Pon? I'm going to claim it. And I'm going to be that person. So you guys watching this right now, you can do it too, right? You just have to trust the process and you have to trust that the people who put the process in place know what they're talking about, okay? Our mentors are multimillionaires. They've been in the game for 30, 40 years. There's no question about this. It's completely documented. They have hundreds of students that are making hundreds of thousands of dollars. Okay, you see three of them right here on this screen. So you just have to understand that you can do it if you trust the process and you get yourself surrounded with like-minded people who lift you up and you, and you learn and listen to people who came before you on the journey, right? Cool. All right, Pon Pon, thank you so much for joining us today. Samuel, thank you. Jennifer, thank you. They had to jump off. It's nighttime in the States, so that's all good. If you guys want to reach out to any of us, find us on Facebook, right? Jennifer, Samuel, Porntip, myself. Network with us, right? You don't have to ask us about our businesses. You don't have to ask us about money. Just say hello. This is all about networking. Okay, guys? Thanks for watching the interview. Hope to see you inside the Facebook groups, the various uh, places we, we live online where we congregate. Have a wonderful day. And thank you to my panel again for coming out today. Have a good day, everybody. Bye Thanks, for now. Amy.